Hi, I'm Datagram. Welcome to Tampering with Security Seals. Uh, in this course, you're going to learn about the use, inspection, and compromise of tamper evident devices. They're used to uh, secure containers in everyday life, from uh, pill bottles to the transport of hazardous nuclear materials. And they're uh, easy to compromise once you learn how they work and the different methods of attacking them. And you can compromise them both by beating problems with their design and problems with their installation or even their inspection. So it's not just a matter of uh, learning how they work, but you could also attack the human element of it as well. Uh, students of this course will learn about different kinds of seals, such as mechanical seals, uh, adhesive seals, uh, crimps, wraps, inks, uh, different types of sealants, and uh, also electronic seals. These are some examples of the solvents and tools we'll be using in this course. Many of them can be purchased at your local drug or hardware store. The solvents are used to lift or remove adhesive seals, while the tools are used to manipulate, replace, or repair mechanical seals. This course focuses heavily on hands-on work, from simple shims to open mechanical seals, to methods of counterfeiting serial numbers on high security seals, including those used by governments and financial institutions around the world. Here are some examples of plastic tamper evident bags, primarily used by banks for the transport of checks and deposits. They include a tamper evident adhesive seal as well as a special bag designed to deter or identify tampering. You can see that the seal on this bag has been tampered with as it clearly shows the stop marks on the adhesive lining of the bag. This is an example of what happens when we apply the wrong solvent to an adhesive seal. This seal is used primarily for evidence uh, handling and when they seal containers that have hazardous or nuclear material. It's acetate based and what I'm doing here is applying acetone around the edge and this will soak through the cardboard and weaken the bond between the cardboard and the seal itself. And this is a pretty common technique to lift adhesive seals but we're going to see in a minute that it doesn't work so well with this combination of seal and solvent. So everything looks great, we're picking up the seal but now all of a sudden the acetate starts to rip and tear and slowly this is going to spread to the rest of the seal and the idea is that doing so leaves evidence that the seal was tampered with so you see along the edges we have all these ripples and bubbles and these are not things that we could easily get out without replacing the seal altogether but if the seal has a serial number or some kind of unique identifier that may be difficult this is an example of a cable seal that's pretty popular for cargo transportation and what it is is just this braided metal strap that fits through the body and once you close it you're not supposed to be able to open it but if it's installed improperly what we could do is push this shim through and it'll separate what holds the the cable in from the body and allow us to just pull it out and once we're done we can just remove the shim and put the lock back to normal Uh, for more information, look at blackhat.com, and under training you can find Tampering with Security Seals by Datagram.